are you guys doing? <laughs> Mr. Anthony Smith. Here you are. <laughs> Welcome to Packwatch. <laughs> we back, baby. We're fucking back. Uh, you guys had asked for it. You guys just told me. Hit me in the DMs. Hit me in the comment section. Where is the Packwatch videos? Now, obviously, we're supposed to make one for uh, Mr. Mr. Jorge Masvidal and his um, his I'm not gonna call him a butt buddy. Uh, his boy uh, Adrian Yanez. Uh, but uh, I I didn't have the motivation. You know, it's so weird. Like I don't get twisted. I think they're both oh, kind of overrated. But I uh, Jorge Masvidal was completely humbled by oh Kumar Usman. If there ever was a time to do a pack watch video on on Jorge Masvidal, it was when Usman knocked him out, and I missed my chance. Adrian Yanez, I don't hate the kid. I, I really, I just thought he was overrated. And it's Team Rob Ford, baby! You know? But this motherfucker, Anthony Smith, on the other hand, he's a different story. Me and Anthony have a long, long history. I would say as fan and him as fighter. <laughs> Today... I'm smoking your pack, baby. <laughs> Enjoy this pack watch. But yeah, where do I start, man? Um, I guess this is when MMA Karma Strikes Back number five. Anthony Smith edition. Also also featuring Dan Rodriguez and clown boy Ihor Pitoria. Whatever, however you fucking say that dummy's name. But let's talk about Anthony Smith, man. I don't know where it started, bro. I don't know where if I want to start with Hector Lombard or when he got the original first title shot. I want to start... When he fought Shogun. I'm watching Anthony Smith. I've seen him for, for a minute. I, I know Anthony Smith, right? But he fights Shogun. He gets the opportunity of a lifetime. After knocking out Rashad Evans on the prelims. I remember UFC 225 off the top of my head. And I, I didn't think much of the guy. I didn't hate him. I didn't dislike him. But then I heard him speak. And then I was like, oh. This guy... He doesn't believe in reality. Because you're starting to say stuff as if he was one of the better guys in the division. I'm not saying, oh, you can't be confident or, or this or that. But you have to be realistic, y'all. You, you can't just lie to the public and say you're this or you're that. So then he gets mashed up with Volkan Ozdemir. I remember that like night and day. I actually picked him. And I let go of the nonsensical uh, speech, right? And... I was like, you know what? I, I think Anthony Smith wins this. And beats Volkan Ozdemir. And he gets the title shot. He fights John Jones. Now, you guys know I'm one of the bigger John Jones hater of all time, right? And I'll be honest with you. I wanted Anthony Smith to beat John Jones. And here's where I'll give Anthony some credit. He's a man, he's a real man. Because in that fight against John Jones, he could have took. The Al Jermaine Sterling way of winning a world championship. But instead, he did it like a man. You know, um, he got hit with a knee and he continued to fight. And after this fight and after the next three weeks, I lost complete and utter respect for Anthony Smith. Because this man is a clown. He gets matched up with Gustafsson, beats Gustafsson. There is talks of him versus Luke Rockhold. Now, follow me here. I'm a Luke Rockhold fan. Now, did Luke say stuff about Anthony Smith that he probably shouldn't have said? Okay, maybe. I agree. But when Luke fought Jan Blachowicz and fucking Anthony motherfucking Smith was there live and he saw the fight, instead of, A, this guy just lost, there's no fight there. This man does an interview with fucking Submission Radio spitting on a man that potentially got his jaw broken and got beat up. Now, if you're telling me I got to be respectful to this fucking clown, but he can't be respectful to other fighters, go fuck yourself. All right. You don't just get to berate someone, attack someone after they've just been destroyed and think no one's going to do it right back to you. But it doesn't stop there. The clown show doesn't stop. Right. <laughs> he gets mashed up with Glover to share. <laughs> and they're dubbing this guy the career killer. 
the legend killer, the old man destroyer, <laughs> Anthony Smith. And what fucking happens? What fucking happens? Tell me. Tell me. I told you motherfuckers Glover to share was going to humble that fool. I told you. I fucking told you. Huh? I fucking, fucking told you. And what did you say? You laughed at me. You said you're a fool. He needs to be in a retirement home. Anthony Smith is the man. And what fucking happened? The man lost his teeth, lost his manhood, lost any right to speak about anybody. Okay? He lost all those rights. But instead of learning from that classic, legendary, respect lesson that Glover Teixeira gave him, he became worse. <laughs> he became out of control worse. He fights Alexander Rakic. Rakic completely humiliates him. And he beats him. So this is when I think Smith is, is done. He, there's no coming back. <laughs> right? There's no need to make a pack watch, right? That's what I'm thinking. Even even though I've never made a pack watch at this time, I'm thinking, all right, there's no need to make one. But then he 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 fucking he gets three wins somehow against Devin Clark, Jimmy Crew, and Ryan Spahn. Good for him. He proved he was a top five guy at the time. I'll give him that. He was a top five guy. At the time. <laughs> but then guys like Ed and other fools started to promote this theory called Anthony Smith 2.0 and because Glover Teixeira became champion it was okay for him to lose to an old man like you dubbed him so it was okay so then I'm seeing this this weird uh, hy hypnotic uh, brainwashed movement Trying to tell me Anthony Smith is a world title contender? What? That I get hit in the leg 24-7? Oh, I can't wrestle off my back half an ass? Oh, I look like a Ninja Turtle looking motherfucker is going to hold a world championship? <laughs> Smoke to that one. <laughs> so then he fights Magomed on Goliath. And I thought... The show's over. The road was cool. Your time is done. The clown show stops. And Michael Bisping. Oh, I forgot about the infamous clip from Michael Bisping. Actually, let me play this clip for you guys on what, what Michael Bisping thought uh, what Anthony Smith was going to do <laughs> that year. So I'll let you guys enjoy this. Oh, yeah. I believe that sometime next year, Anthony Smith will be light heavyweight champion of the world. So you saw Anthony Smith's or not my bad. You saw Michael Bisping's infamous, infamous prediction. Yeah, it, it went so well. <laughs> champion. <laughs> Anthony Smith and champion in the same sentence should be against the fucking law. <laughs> Nonetheless, fucking thinking that shit. Let's smoke that, <laughs> that Anthony Smith championship dream pack. <laughs> That shit hit it! That shit hit it! <laughs> Champion! That's hilarious. But you motherfuckers found a way how to get away with that one. You guys found a way how to get away with a Magomed on Kaliyev loss. I never thought I'd see the day he broke his ankle. An injury. Oh. So then, yeah. He's injured. But Anthony Smith has a lot of time to talk. And Anthony Smith... Started running his fucking mouth. And he started saying things like, John Jones isn't that good. What are you? I don't even like John Jones, but what are you to say he's not good? What are you? I, I want to know. Runner up? A failure? If he's not good, what are you? If he's trash, what are you? Are you. The spit I just spit on the ground? Huh? What are you? The fact this guy has the confidence to say shit like this, it hurts my soul. So then, I pray, 
I waited. I waited my time because I knew one of these light heavyweights would finally stand the fuck up for themselves. Oh, and nonetheless, let's even go back. Anthony Smith started saying Ryan spawns his bitch for the rest of his life. I didn't forget that one. You know, you have some fucking class, you dummy. What is wrong with you? He's your bitch. What do you mean? You're, he's a former opponent, dumbass. Your bitch. How do you say stuff like this and then expect respect? I, I, are you stupid? So then, I knew one of these light heavy were to find stand up for their fucking self and then lose to this worthless, trash, ninja turtle, meth head looking motherfucker. And you know what? I loved who did it. Johnny Walker, the guy that makes memes when he gets knocked out. You know? It was beautiful. It was the guy, the failed hype train, that Corey Anderson destroyed. The guy that no one ever expected to be a world champion. The guy that Anthony Smith said himself, I cannot lose to that guy. He said it. He said, Johnny, Johnny Walker's a guy I can't lose to if I expect to be a world champion. So I knew this was the guy. He was the chosen one to finally humble and eviscerate and demasculate Anthony Smith. And that's what the fuck he did. And let me, let me not forget what this other classless clown did before the fight. Johnny Walker, a nice guy himself, goes to the handshake. And you don't shake his hand. You don't shake his hand. Who are you? Who are you not to shake his hand? Who are you? You're Anthony Smith. You shake his hand. He's your father. Since you like calling people bitches and say, oh, that's my bitch, Ryan Spine. Well, he's your father. So shake your fucking father's hand, dummy. So then, like karma and like clockwork, Anthony Smith gets humble. He got staggered. In that first round, got leg kicked to oblivion uh, by Johnny Walker. He even got taken down. I also, I forgot to add that uh, he got completely, he got completely owned. He got beat. He got kneed in the face at the end. He got 30-27 by Johnny Walker. He got outclassed. He got outworked, and he showed everyone why he's the same old Anthony Smith that he's always been. A journeyman that will never go nowhere and has no right to talk about anyone. You're a better analyst than you are a fighter. Learn some fucking respect and just keep working. I'm not asking the guy to stop fighting, which would be phenomenal. <laughs> but just stop running your fucking mouth all the time. I, I, I heard he might retire. I don't know. I don't think he wants to retire like that. But, Anthony Smith, I'm going to give you some advice. Since you've joined... The Pack Watch Club of Cheeto Vera, Rafael Fizia, TJ Dillashaw. Am I missing anyone? Oh, Adesanya. My bad. It's a very big group you're in right now. I want you to reflect. You see, Adesanya reflected after he got Pack Watch, and he got the victory of a lifetime. This this Pack Watch, me packing you up like this, <laughs> isn't me destroying you. It's actually redemption. So learn from your losses. Stop being an arrogant asshole, right? Learn how to check a fucking kick if you want some advice. And uh, come back stronger, you know? Uh, so some nice words for punk boy Anthony Smith. Never going to be a champion. Never was a legit top five fighter. Enjoy the dirt, you punk motherfucker. Um, so yeah, that's it for Anthony Smith. <laughs> uh, but hope you... <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that part. But we are still not done. Let's talk about Daniel D. Rod Rodriguez. I told you motherfuckers Ian Gary was going to beat him. And that motherfucker was running his mouth. That motherfucker was running his mouth. I'm going to beat him up. I have power. <laughs> Taste that head kick, punk. He thought after he beat Kevin Lee, he was the GOAT. He thought he was the GOAT. And then you robbed G. Lee Lang. You thought you still was the GOAT. Enjoy being non-ranked, clown. God. And now let's go to the fucking main event of all clowns. Ehor Pretoria. I don't even know how to... How do you pronounce this motherfucker's name? Let me go to Google Translate. I, 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 I really have no respect for him since he danced on my guy Shogun. But Carlos Olberg, MVP of the fucking year, did us the world a favor for beating this 
no talent having motherfucker. Well, he does have some talent. He can dance pretty good. That's about it. Uh, Google Translate. I'm going to turn this shit all the way up. So yeah, that clown started dancing on Shogun. You taste the left hook, mister. And fuck you while you're at it. And we're smoking that D-Rod. Anthony Smith. Back, baby. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, man. Y'all thought it was sweet. Y'all thought it was sweet. You're done, son. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's your quick little pack watch. Uh, I told you guys I'd get this out. I promised you guys I'd get this out. I'm a man of my fucking word. I always stand by it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Love y'all and goodbye. It's your boy, Evan. I'm out of here.